The family of a man killed during a car crash involving a former constable deputy is asking for justice. Tonight, one week since that deadly crash, the victim's family held a vigil to honor their loved one. Anayeli Ruiz was at the vigil and she joins us live tonight. Anayeli. Well, as you can imagine, this family is just devastated, not just for the loss of Ricky, but the fact that they say no justice has been served because there hasn't been an arrest. Now, take a look. This is a vigil of a group of people, loved ones and friends that gathered out here today. Now, with a broken heart, the family of Ricardo Resendez, or Ricky, as everyone called him, says they're in just so much pain. But today they put that aside and gathered at the Navigation Esplanade, an area where they say Ricky grew up. They wanted to honor his memory. They said prayers for him, shared memories, and lit candles in his honor for this 28-year-old that left a huge void in their heart. Friends and family then walk just a few blocks away to the accident scene, hoping that their sorrow is felt and heard by the DA as they demand now a former deputy with the Harris County Precinct 6 Constable's Office, who they say is responsible for Ricky's death, is soon charged. We're, we're honoring him and we want justice for him because he deserves it. He's no longer here to speak for himself, but that's... But we're going to do that for him, and we're happy to do that for him. To be swept under the rug that someone was speeding, um, going ridiculously fast, and hurt an innocent person who was just trying to go home. Because no se duerme, de vera. A que le falta un hijo o le falta tu ser querido, no se puede conciliar el sueño. And that is Ricky's mom who says she can't sleep, she can't function without her son, she misses him dearly and doesn't know how she's going to live without him. She hopes that the authorities do take action. Now, the now fired constable deputy was identified as Rigo Bibiar. He was apparently off duty when the crash happened and was driving the wrong way down Canal. And of course, as soon as we hear an update, we'll be sure to pass it along. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.